Hello DCS enthusiasts, back to the channel and we're going to do another Let's Build a Mission tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do audio messages. Um, these can be messages that you recorded or something that maybe you found uh, somewhere else, another audio file that you want to play in your mission. Um, what we're doing here is our mission briefing for the um, HVT that you guys remember we built to the start of this where we were doing a high value target extraction. Well now I've started doing some of the audio for it and I've made a audio briefing. So I'm going to show you guys how I set that up first. So first thing that I always do is set up the briefing, right? So if we go into our briefing menu here, we're going to go to blue task. I'm going to show you guys what I've got here. And you can do this one two ways. I'm doing this just for my team, but I've created a PDF. Well, it will be a PDF when I'm done. Um, for my Virtual Carrier Wing 13. By the way, if you guys are interested, please check us out at virtualcarrierwing13.com or excuse me, vcw13.com. Um, if you're interested in joining us, we'd love to have you on board. We're always looking for new pilots. We take uh, pilots of all skill levels. However, we are an 18 and only up group, so please keep that in mind. All right, so anyway, moving on to our mission here um, called Oper Operation Hide and Seek is what we're calling it. I've done uh, aircraft activated by UH-1. So this is just documentation from my team here. You guys can read this if you'd like. Obviously, pause the screen. But here's my mission briefing. Here's what's actually going out to the pilots. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab all this for a second. As this is the first mission ready. And obviously, I just want the text. Can't put pictures into a briefing, at least not in this location. So that's not exactly true, but... So I'm going to put it underneath all the area assets, and I'm also going to put it underneath FARP Alpha. Okay, so this lets us know the mission tasks that are available at FARP Alpha. And actually, what I think I'm going to do here, let's go back up there for a second. Let's space it out. What happened there? And do something like that. That's close enough. I'll make it look all pretty later. But so now they can scroll down to FARP Alpha. And obviously this is the only briefing that's going to be there at the moment. But you can see our briefing. Now, I don't think all these different indents and things like that will be there. But so now, if we hit save. This is just the overall briefing. So this is for the situation. Okay, so this is where you talk about the map. This is what every single person who joins your map or plays your mission, whatever it's going to be, is going to see. Whether they be red or blue, helos, whatever. Okay. But now if we go to start. In our case, we're on blue. Right. And we're going to find our FARP Alpha aircraft because that's where we're going anyway. But here's our situation again. But now we also get the objectives. So here's FARP Alpha, and then here's, oh cool, it does do the uh, different indenters. It doesn't space them correctly, but I, it lines them out, which is nice. It didn't used to do that. That's kind of cool. All right, so that's good stuff. So you can see here's our briefing. But here's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. Slick, Razor 1. The NSA has uncovered a terrorist cell base of operation in the Vagla Mountains. It is believed this is also the location of an HVT linked to a local terror group in the area. Intelligence suggests this HVT is responsible for strategic planning as well as personnel and supplies deployment. The retrieval team, call sign Whiskey, is en route to your position. Once you're hot and ready, get on the radio and get them on board. Two AH-1 Cobra attack ships, call sign Harpoon, will be providing escort into the LZ. We also have scouts in the area providing FM homing for you. Track on 4 or 5 megahertz. Once you reach the target location, clear a landing zone for Whiskey. Land and they will disembark and make the extraction. Provide close air support until Whiskey reports evac ready. ROE is weapons hot, weapons free. However, the survival of the HVT is priority, so watch your fire. After securing the package, return to FARP Alpha and disembark at the security post just north of the landing pads. That is all. Razor 1 out. Alright, so now it's time to show you how to put all that together. Alright, so just a real quick briefing, giving you all the same information that you would normally read, letting you know what to do and how the mission should play out right from the start. Okay, now, what we're going to do here is under our starting unit, our starting flag, okay, so this is where we actually... So here's the radio item that creates the menu. Here's where we actually triggered it, okay? 
So we have our message to group. This is what popped up on the screen that we were reading. And then we just did a sound to group. Okay, so we do sound to group, same thing, find our helicopters, and you hit your open and you find the audio file that you're looking for. Okay, I always use anything that I'm using for DCS, audio, pictures, doesn't matter. I always put it in the DCS open beta directory at least because it's so much easier to get to it. Okay, navigating through the folders any other way is kind of a PIA. Okay, so I highly recommend that you create a folder in your open beta directory, call it whatever you want. I put it in my missions directory because, you know, that makes sense to me. It's where it will automatically start. Um, and just, you know, I have my mission audio, mission images, mission items, okay, whatever it may be. So anyway, moving on. Go to my mission audio, and that's actually titled wrong. But um, here, we'll come here, and I'll find the auto fi audio file that I'm looking for. Now, here's where this gets critical. Okay, you got to watch this. you got to know your time. Okay, and you also see it down here. So we know that the message is displaying for 20 seconds, okay? The audio is 18 seconds. Now, the reason why I have the um, text a little bit longer than the audio is just in case people are reading a little slower, whatever, you know, maybe they're not listening to it, they want to be able to hear it or read it, whatever, you know, a couple different scenarios. And you can play it from here. And then what you can also do is create a start delay, and this delays the time from the flag that it starts, okay? And here's where that becomes kind of cool. I'm actually going to show you. We're going to try to fix one of them here in a minute because I noticed something that it did on that last play. All right, so we're at 18 seconds, 20 seconds here. So we're 20 seconds. You want to take the, the longest time that you're dealing with here. Um, but you also want to keep in mind how long your audio is, okay? If you don't hit clear view, okay, what will happen is the text will come up and cascade behind each other like you saw. You know, one will stay on for a screen, the other one pops up, the other, first one sort of fades away, and then the other one goes up. So you want clear view off, ideally. What clear view will be is it will wait for the screen to be cleared and then put your next message up. Okay, so I always leave it as um, unchecked when I'm doing multiple messages, cascading messages like this. That way, the next message can still appear on the screen while the first one's there. Okay, so anyway, so we want to look for this time here, but you also want to pay attention to your audio. You don't want there, especially in an audio message, you don't want there to be too big of a gap between when someone stops talking and when the next message starts, right? You know, it's like, how are you today? Oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, you, you don't want it like that. You want it to try to still be, you know, a flow, but you also don't want your audio messages to be necessarily too long either. Um, as you know, you have to make sure that your text is long enough too. And there is a limit. I don't know what the character limit is on the text on the, yeah, text files, but there is a character limit as far as to how much will display on screen. So keep that in mind. You want to keep them, you know, within reason. So we have 20 seconds total for our text and 18 on our message. So here's what I've done. So I've gone for 19 seconds later. This is time since flag, 19 seconds. So that will leave the first message on the screen one second longer, okay? And that's what we were seeing. This is the first message didn't quite go away when the second one appeared. But 19 seconds later, the next audio file will start, okay? So it'll start talking. So then what we have to do is we have to take the 17 seconds and add it to the 19 seconds, okay? And again, given room for pause. And this isn't exact. 17 seconds okay so you gotta remember it could be 17.6 seconds five seconds and in a real quick one or two messages that's not a big deal but after you know if you get five six seven messages that are falling behind each other they will start to add up okay and you can start creating gaps and overlaps and things like that okay so we have 19 seconds plus 17 seconds that puts us what 36 seconds right so then what i've done is i've gone to 37 seconds again accounting for that variable um, that, you know, it may have been 19.2 and 17.6, you know what I mean? So I put a 37 seconds after that, the next message starts, will stay on the screen for 16 seconds, so the two text messages are going to overlap a little bit, okay? And then we add our next 15 second message. Now, this last one I think is where I saw something goofy. So we come, now we got 37 plus 15, okay, so what we got there? What is that, 42? 52. All right, so I added two more seconds, 54 seconds. Now, something I noticed was the message actually appeared a little bit after, which I thought was weird. Oh, that's why, because it has a delay on it. I'm not quite sure why I had that there, but you guys saw what that does. So from the 54 seconds after the flag started, the audio message started before this message appeared on screen is what I was seeing. Okay, so I thought that was kind of weird, but now it makes more sense. So what that essentially does is 
54 seconds after flag 100, the audio started. But 55 seconds, because of that one second delay, the text message came up on the screen. All right? So, and that's all of our messages. So if we just hit save, and now the rest of it you guys already saw, you just simply go in, activate, and your message will, messages will play. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was just a real quick tutorial, something I thought you guys might find interesting. It is a lot of fun um, for anyone who needs software. I use Adobe Audition, um, and that's because it has the AM radio effect that you can um, put on top of your recordings uh, to sort of give it that radio background. Um, but there are a bunch of different uh, softwares out there. Um, I think Audacity is one of them that allows you to record. Heck, uh, when I first, first started doing uh, missions with audio, I used my cell phone. Okay, and then transfer it. And then remember I said you can go to Google and look up whatever your file is. So if it's MP3, Wave, or whatever, look up MP3 to .ogg converter. Okay, or just look for .ogg converter. I think and I, the first one that pops up, I showed you guys in the last video, but it, it's an uh, online converter. Um, so you can convert them to OGGs for free. Um, as far as adding the effects, you know, like I said, I use Adobe Audition. It is a payware. Um but uh, if that's all you're looking for, it's only 20 bucks a month. I think the full subscription to Adobe is like 50 bucks a month. No, I was not paid to say that. I wish. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. Uh, the next F18 tu tutorial series will also be out tonight. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.